My name is uh, Srinivas Pandravada and I work for Intel and uh, I contribute to thermal subsystem from last decade. So uh, as uh, Daniel mentioned, user space is also a participant in thermal management. In a long time back, <coughs> everything was in kernel, but user space has lots of new things because of systems getting smarter, you need more user space involvement. And one of the AVI we use is Netlink. To give you a very high level overview of Netlink, Netlink is another one of the user com kernel communication mechanism which we have in kernel. And also it can be used for user to user base. It's a socket based, it's a data game oriented service. And you can do both uh, unicast and multicast. And we have uh, a Netlink, you know, Netlink has families. Mm -hmm. And we have primarily two of the families are getting used. One is uh, Netlink K object U event, which is used by user space corner, I don't know, maybe from decade plus. And uh, Netlink generic, uh, Daniel introduced in maybe two, three years back. And uh, Netlink generic is also used by SCPI thermal events, maybe more than a decade uh, is there. So we have combination of, you know, user space notification mechanism. give you, you know, like how it's a usage model on Intel platforms, you have, a, you know, like from a driver perspective, you just, you have a, a, the thermal core, the driver just calls one API, you know, device update or, or any other mechanism. And the thermal core based on the what policies for set for that uh, thermal zone calls, you know, if the user space is set, then it calls to user space governor, and user space governor use uh, you know K object U event and with the string based format send it to you know any any K object U event will be intercepted by UDFD and any other applications at the same time. And uh, similarly, thermal core can also call uh, thermal netlink, and the thermal netlink uses the generic uh, thermal generator. Yeah, Netlink generic, and it's also can send the user space using different mechanisms. So, so we have combination of mechanism like in the addition we have ACPI thermal. If you get a if you get threshold change comes, you get many many events. Also, you get also get from ACPI thermal. So, so in in like what I, we are looking for user kernel interface. We want really to be low overhead. It's a low user of resources because it's just a, it's a communication mechanism. It shouldn't be take more than, more than what it should do. And it should be fast enough to mitigate thermals. Like, you know, few, you know, five years back, yeah, those time frames were okay. But, uh, you know, as more active devices stick in your laptop, yeah, those, those get challenging. Like uh, we were talking about undershoot, overshoot. That's, those needs to be mitigated fast enough. So recently, you know, like we, you know, user space corner served its purpose, but as you know, we have more CPUs uh, and more, you know, like more smarter things. Uh, we see that you can really free the user space. So you can just uh, send events in a group, and it should be totally free the user space. And if you look at one of the user complaints that this system basically takes hundred MB of by just by just uh, you know because of this user and why it is now because previously we had four CPUs now we are talking about 32 64 or whatever number of CPUs they all they all contribute and if you look at UWV as well it's forming many workers and the workers are proportional to the number of CPUs so the moment you see the event it just spawns and most of the time it's a problem in the you know, Formulate and they send the trip so bad that it gets constantly violated. And also, you know, like we said, when you program intra, you can say that you know how fast you want to generate intra. And if it's not program right, you can just get the boot up, you may get 100 events at the same time. And if you're just good, you free your user space right in that way. And if you look at some, I found some links from your mm -hmm. guidance who say, yeah, so you will be really bad for like last week. And exhaust your system is also pretty fast if you have lots of traffic. 
And if you and now in the introduction of the thermal impacting also, you get two events for MV. One goes to the user, another is to the anybody who subscribes to the user. Like in our case, we subscribe to both of them. So we get two events for any one event. And UWD also has another mechanism on top of it. It generates two events. One is for kernel, one is for anybody who is subscribed to UWD. So we still have about three events per event. User space. So that's the issue. And so one of the solution is, you know, like in, in our case, we could when they are, there was a problem in, so the user, yeah, we could rate control the event at home there, level. Yeah, we just set some, you know, value rate and things and stuff and, and, and so fast. And, and we could carry program in BIOS there. So that, that was the issue with mitigation. But uh, if he really wants to solve it, we need to really collate all events at the same time in user space kernel. Currently, it's just nicely sensitive at the moment it's not. So that's one option available. So the, the other option is, is to duplicate user space kernel. Like this was discussed before. We really want to duplicate it, but there are lots of legacy issues. I know some Chrome sites are using. Again, we will buy every six, seven years back. If you change your kernel, there will be problems. User space also changes together each time. So that's, there are some legacy issues with just duplicating it. And we replace with basically the thermal hacking. The thermal hacking is better than you have. Any here. But that's not enough because there are lots of events which are then uh, user space kernel are not really there in the So we need to add <coughs> new events and, and that's very good. So what do you think? Duplicating user space kernel the right time or is the user space get affected? So I don't know. To be honest, I don't know who's using it. So, anyone using the user space governor for thermal? The only thing that can see the only potential problem that I can see lots of testing systems might break because of that. <laughs> That's a good one, yes. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get reports, but yeah, well, okay. But if you have people get testing, all those But we can always try to remove it and see, if, you know, what, what happens, <coughs> like, like often, right? Somebody or, or asking the least, I think, would be the first step, right? Who, who cares about it? Uh, if I am not wrong, you, uh, the G sevens are handled by Tamal D. And, yes, but, and but you are the maintainer yes, of Thermal D? Yes, but we, we sometimes have new So it's not longer a problem? Yeah, it's not. Okay. No. okay. So, so, but I think that the order of uh, actions would need to be to get parity with the user space governor first, and then say, hey, we have this in the, in the Netlink. Uh, in the Nightlink mechanism, so we don't really need the user space governor and then maybe remove it because that other thing is more efficient. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Uh, every thing they can, can we try to fix it. Let's see what you like. Yes, yeah, so people, people will complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, tools will complain. Yeah, that's so. But. Yeah, we need to. Let me go to the next one. So, so there are some issues with thermal network also. You know, like, even thermal network, what we see is, is the our systems. Yes or not? Because, you know, at least user space government had a control. Like, you know, like we have, on some system, we have 32 or 30, you know, more than 32 thousand. Half of them are managed by you know. Half of them, you know, some we, we won't be interested in user space. But with, uh, you know, with, I cannot just say change the policy, but uh, to get the events on interested. But now we get everyone gets it. Because, so that's so that's that's a problem. You know, we don't want more noise than what we already have. So, and also we have like 
you get a multicast group here, right? And we have only two, uh, two groups in the one example in only three, right? And we have three types of events there. Everybody gets all of them. So that's all one problem. The other one more problem is if you if you call any kind of company, you at least spend seven hundreds of cycles just to try to send message because there is no user space because the IP call is generic send message because the GNF send message it will fail at the end when there is no user space. If there is no check in between that you know, don't do this computation if, it, if something fails. So we, uh, I think Netlink allows you to listen to the user space bindings. So we should probably have a handler in the Netlink. Though it's no user space, don't even bother to send it. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you know, it's still it's good, but it still has issues. Yeah, so I have some numbers. This is like you know, like in for for us, notification is not just for display or debugging. It takes action. Right? So K of the event to take action on on one of the system is experiment. On the max, you can see <coughs> the microsecond later it comes in because it's always so much so much. Then it will not be reduced by one third of it, so now it takes 100 microseconds. But still, you have 100 microseconds delay after you say that I got an error. So you got an error, after 100 microseconds, you will take it, some action. So this is, uh, this is okay most of the cases, but there are some common cases which we have where, where you know, we have to be, so formula asks us to some notification, and we don't reply in certain time, it will resend it. So the good part is it resends it. Because we may miss the first one. Well, acknowledge the first one. If you just do a character device, it only takes 15 minus <coughs> It is still an overhead, but uh, I would see that character device is much faster. Excuse me, can, can you repeat the test? Uh, what represents the. Yeah, this it's actually very interrupt, and then the use space handler. He reads it and he replies to the firmware again. Okay. So that's the cycle time. Okay. So, so I said for thermal lighting, I suggest we should have like corrective have commands, right? We should have also filter of zones command. We shouldn't we should not just send any every zone. By default, because of backward compatibility, you can send out. But if someone says block each zone, then that's fine. Also, policies, right? Like particularly corrective policies, people are important because if you should configure the pair share, you also get one more event of delay. Whenever the cooling device changes, the state of the changes, so you get like trip up, trip down, you know, the three yeah. events per change. Uh, hey, um, I don't know enough about Netlink, but is this something that you can kind of filter, like you would filter out network packets? Yes. Yeah, Couldn't you use, like, use BPF to filter out like a firewall kind of? So should that is should we add that or yeah, okay. Yeah, How do we add it is different. Okay. We add the command or something. Also we can check the user space. Also if we can check the user space present before we try to and anything. And also we should, we can create at least three multicast groups. One is the for trips, another is for the cooling devices. Which we care mostly is about our capacity and data. So, so you like for we have demons which are only one interested in the capacity event, but they get all. So they get picked up for three, four times more than they should be. So all the events whenever the capacity changes, thermal <coughs> event also happens. Also so, yeah, basically, it all, all boils down to uh, having a way for users to specify what they want, right? Yeah. The, so they don't have to get everything and then filter by, by themselves because that doesn't scale. So. All right. 
Any comments to this one, Daniel? Uh, can we just create a filter for the, for the event instead of creating new multicast group? Yeah, but instead of adding more, more yeah, multicast yeah. groups, just set a filter so we are interested in this yeah, kind of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if you have one hundred consent filter, you should have one hundred consent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's we can do that per client or not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyone? Done. All right. So we are now going to have a fifteen minutes break, mostly because I need to get in touch yeah, with one, the. One of the last one. Okay. Ah, I see. Yeah, you have more. Okay. Just, Good. I think we should get uh good question yeah i yeah i i didn't so when i was writing the cpi driver like you know recently i didn't remove those messages because i wasn't sure yes yeah, so yeah, i think because i i couldn't find anybody any Okay, so yeah, again, let's try to drop them and see if anybody screams. Okay, good idea. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so, so thank you. Thank you.